since 2000, Bangladesh is facing this dengue outbreak as Aedes mosquito control is not yet achieved. So every year we are facing this sort of outbreaks. Like this year in 2019, we are facing a huge dengue outbreak in Bangladesh. Last year we have had like 10,000 dengue patients. But this year it crossed more than 60,000 patients. We have already treated more than 55,000 patients who were only hospitalized. And in the outdoor, we had a huge number of patients. So what happens because of these mosquito control programs, we face this havoc. And regionally, globally, we have a huge burden of dengue outbreaks. What we have done, we have developed a national guideline for treating. So with the WHO technical assistance, we have developed a guidelines, a national guidelines for treating these dengue patients and we have circulated these throughout the country. We have a national committee and this national committee approved this, that guideline and based on that we have trained 2000 doctors across the country. And then for diagnosis purpose, for the diagnostic, we sat with both the government and non-government hospitals and we made a fixed, I mean, costings for identifying dengue outbreaks. In the government hospitals, we made free treatments for all dengue patients and we fixed out the rates for the non-government organization to help this out. And beside that, we have a treatment plan that follows the guidelines with decreases dengue shock syndrome and also dengue hemorrhagic fever. If there is a patient with dengue hemorrhagic fever, then we provide them platelet free of cost from the government hospitals and we fixed out fixed hospitals to treat with those patients. We have increased number of beds in two major hospitals in our capital to combat this situation. For a longer term vector control disease, we took the advantage of having an expert from WHO CR region for vector control and for intersectoral collaboration, we called the two city corporation mayors with us and we have a combined meeting with the local government and health ministry with our honorable minister in the chair and with the two mayors to control the vector efforts and WHO provided technical support for that. We have had a research work with the Harvard University which uh, yielded some results that human mobility with the vector transmission is associated with this sort of outbreak spread. So we are focusing on that evidence to have an inter-sectoral coordination mechanism and to have multi-sectoral cooperation for facing out these dengue control as well as the vector control initiatives. So what we have done, we have because vector control is done by the local governments and the treatment part is done by the Ministry of Health. So we put together and there are environmental issues, the climate change issues. We also taken into account for calling up our the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So we found that the erratic pattern of the rainfall is triggering out the vector, I mean, generation and productions. So to control that, we combinedly sit together. We have an interministerial committee. We sit together during the outbreaks, before the outbreak and after the outbreaks to monitor the progress. And now we have set up a coordination mechanism to control the vector as well as to provide the good treatment for the affected people.